see what's going on guys quick recap on yesterday's storm I've got some pictures and some storm totals that are quite staggering to go along with this staggering storm you can see here expanding over 2,000 miles the storm aesthetically is wider than Pluto as you can see here on the map well over a thousand mile wide wind field some of the winds from today sent by my friend Craig out of New Jersey Lanoka Harbor 82 mile an hour wind gusts these are peak wind gusts from New Jersey Mystic Island 81 miles per hour Beach Haven 74 Atlantic City 73 mile an hour gust Sandy Hook 68 Harvey Cedar 67 and Little Egg Harbor 61 mile an hour wind gust that's right up in this area here where my friend Craig's at just an unbelievable storm that looks like to me it's going to be a record-setting outbreak there are over on this map at hailreports.com over 50 tornadoes in the past three days if there's over 20 in one day that's in the outbreak category and it looks like there was definitely more than 20 in multiple states over here at poweroutage.us never seen the map look like this before not even during a hurricane and there are 20 states you're looking at here with some degree of power outages whether it be minor or major totaling 1.3 million outages at one time I think that was at its peak if you just take that times two if there were two members per household that's 2.6 million people and that's a very low approximation probably somewhere in the neighborhood of three or four million people without electricity look at all those states involved in the power outages from the very high winds the wind field that was absolutely massive with this storm and continues right now as I do this video multiple tornadoes as you guys saw I did receive some pictures from Easter Sunday's outbreak unbelievable scene there was at one time two tornadoes on the ground going through southern Mississippi we have it on radar in fact it occurred during a live stream we were doing here's the giant storm complex as it reaches from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up to the northern tip of Maine and the wind field in there is extremely strong as you can see these isobars in here and that's what I was comparing to to Pluto the isobars that is a, a 1200 mile span of very intense winds and they reached even farther but like some of the 82 mile an hour winds were around the core of that storm that my friend Craig shared with us. Um, the storms yesterday, there were two, actually multiple tornadoes yesterday, but there were two on the ground. A gentleman by the name of Adam sent me some pictures from this area that are just unbelievable. Received a photo from, a couple of photos from David out of Sumrall. The, the wind last night blew the roof off of one of his sheds out on a farm he has right here. Dave out of Sumrall. See a big shed here, section of the roof gone. This occurred last night as the storms were exiting the area. And there lays the, the section of roof right there. He's lived there for multiple years and never seen anything quite like it. 19 states at 1 p.m. Eastern time with some degree of power outage, whether it be minor or major. Yesterday during the peak of these storms, actually this is when they were just getting started. This is one moment in time of many moments. There were five tornado warnings going through the Shreveport, Louisiana area. Five tornado warnings at one time. Ended up being multiple tornadoes on the ground yesterday. Two that we're going to look at here that were long track tornadoes that were on the ground at the same time. This is the system I just showed you where there were five tornadoes south of Shreveport. That pink area you see right there is debris lifted way up into the atmosphere. And you can see the intake right there. Very classic tornado signature south of Shreveport yesterday. And that debris signature was probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 30,000 feet, give or take. You know, it's difficult to say exactly. But nevertheless, that's telling you that a tornado is lifting debris very high up into the sky, a few miles up into the sky. And that right there is a, a prime example of how debris gets carried for many, many miles during tornadoes. Right there, you just saw how it happens. We're going to look at these twin tornadoes that when we were watching these on radar it was an unprecedented event you just don't see things like this there were two tornado emergencies in the same area same general area within 45 minutes of each other you just never hear of things like that let alone see it on radar and then see the tornadoes within 30 miles of each other you know it's one thing to see them in the same day 
but in the same state within 30 miles of each other. Honestly, quite unprecedented to say the least. Twin tornadoes in southern Mississippi. You're looking at them on multiple aspects of radar images here that we were looking at during the live stream we were doing yesterday. I'm looking at these tornadoes on radar yesterday around uh, 4.30 uh, Mississippi time. And there they both are at the same time on the ground in the proximity of Collins, Soso, north of Hattiesburg, north of Summerall, about 12 miles. And they were moving to the east, northeast at various speeds. All these storms were moving very, very quickly. Not exactly sure how fast the tornadoes were moving. You can see there south of Silver Creek, Monticello, Prentice, Collins, a um, place here by the name of Bassfield. Took a direct hit, a direct impact from the very large wedge tornado that was on the ground for for an unprecedented amount of time. And here you can see that's a classic signature right there. When you see the very bright red and the very bright green next to each other, there, especially up there by Soso, that's a, a pretty clear indication that there is an active tornado on the ground. And as large as those signatures are, on this screen that told us that they were very big or at least they had the potential to be very big tornadoes and they were some of the pictures that Adam sent to me from this area here Covington County a very large tree probably four feet in diameter just an enormous tree you're gonna see it broke off like a twig tree probably stood 40 50 feet tall and probably four foot in diameter you're gonna see here in just a moment the tree broke in half another tree uprooted that was probably 40 50 foot tall just an unbelievable scene. Here you can see more debris. This storm system here, this is one of two twin tornadoes. This is when the one uh, large one was east of uh, Bass Field, right in here. And then you've got them moving towards Collins, so-so. Unbelievable situation, very unprecedented. You hardly ever see tornado, and there's the debris field right there, or debris balls, what they call it. Uh, tornado emergency right next to each other. A very unprecedented moment, definitely. So a lot of damage in this area as both of these tornadoes were on the ground for a extended period of time. And they were very strong. I don't know exactly how strong they were. I'm hearing some speculation just based off of some of the damage reports that are, that are coming in. Um, but more than likely at minimum EF4 could be EF5. That's as strong as, as the category goes. There were over 20 that qualifies for an outbreak probably way more than 20 yesterday. I know over the last three days, according to hailreports.com, there's been over 50 tornadoes reported in the last three days at hailreports.com. And yesterday more than likely does qualify for an outbreak. And some of the speeds of these storms was just quite remarkable. You're looking at this storm yesterday around 4.30 Mississippi time. We were looking at the different speeds as they were moving through the area. 90 knots just east or just uh, west of saline. That's 103 miles per hour. The low level jet was very, very low, pushing these storms right along. The low level jet was at about 5,000 feet. Here's another one, 80 knots, 92 miles per hour. These were around 11.43 a.m. That would be my time. And that would be around 1.30 there in Mississippi. 110 mile an hour, 96 knots, moving northeast at 90 six knots. I'd never seen anything like that before. I follow storms on here quite often. Another one here, 92 knots, 105 miles per hour, low level jet. And here's the tornadoes reported at hailreports.com just from yesterday. And there are over 20 and they're still coming in. Reports are still coming in. Some north of Birmingham, two or three that are starting to now uh, have been confirmed have to wait for these things to be confirmed but just an unbelievable day yesterday and it continues today there's the massive tornado on radar above collins mississippi and there's covington county mississippi i've got a few pictures to share with you that were sent in by adam f from right here in this area around collins north of Sumrall. and here's the photos sent in by adam f covington county mississippi there's the large tree that I was talking about that's probably four feet in diameter. You can see it's broke off, actually very low to the ground. Big shed here, pretty much completely destroyed. 
Uh, the, the trailer, miraculously, is still standing. The tree almost fell on it, or part of it did. I'm going to zoom in tight on this tree, and you can kind of get a, a perspective of how just thick that tree was. Look at that thing. That is a big, strong tree, or it was, but it was no match for that tornado that went through the area. This is near Collins. You see a shed pushed over on top of a truck. Total loss. And here's another big tree I was talking about at the beginning of the video. You can see how it was uprooted. We were talking about this yesterday morning as, as the trees were, for the most part, completely leafed out, making them very good canopies for, for high winds. And that's what happened here. The tree got top heavy, tipped over out of the ground. You can see it took the roots and the grass right up. And there's another tree next to it that broke off at the base. This one came up roots and all. But more than likely, that tree got top-heavy, and the soil was saturated. and just came up out of the ground from the very high winds. You can see one broke off over there in the background. There's a few broke off in the background. I'm sure there's thousands of trees in that area that took on some sort of damage. This whole area here is a complete loss. That house there suffered some damage. These trees are huge. You can tell they're very old, very, very large trees laying on the ground now. No match for the mighty tornadoes, the twin tornadoes that went through the area yesterday in southern Mississippi. Here's another close-up of that giant tree that, again, was no match for the either EF4 or EF5 tornado in Mississippi on Easter Sunday. Outbreak of 2020. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.